right in this video we're going to talk about a very common use case that uh, that that we implement uh, when we use accounts standard object for managing all of our customers so typically when a customer is created we capture all the relevant information about the customers isn't it uh, one critical information is the address billing and shipping address so in Salesforce today in the standard page layout uh, there is no way you can able to copy the billing address and shipping address or the vice versa it is not possible so there is an option available uh, if you enable that enable that configuration uh, uh, Salesforce you know gives you an option to copy uh, the address but it works only in Salesforce classic not in the lightning so if you are a lightning uh, customer then you have to implement a logic on your own so this video we will be implementing that logic uh, using using flow so we will auto copy customer billing address to shipping address so along the way we will learn about uh, how to use uh, you know uh, update record data element in your flow and also how you access the the record data uh, you know in flow and you will also learn about how to how to use this is changed function to find whether a particular field has been has been a value of a particular field has been changed or not so we will just learn all such things when we build this flow so we'll just start with a use case so there is a requirement from sales team certainly they would like to see an option to auto copy billing to shipping address on the customer record uh, and the reason is very simple every time you know they are manually doing it right which is often getting a uh, little difficult for them so as a salesforce admin we would like to do this without writing a single line of code so this is how the expected output you know will look like so you will so we we will have a <clears throat> checkbox so when this checkbox is selected then whatever the billing address is being entered the same information will be automatically copied onto to shipping address on save of this record yeah so that's the idea so that is the need for introducing a custom uh, checkbox field yeah? in uh, to demonstrate this what I have done is I've already created a custom, uh, you know, checkbox as you can see this right on the account uh, record on the account page layout. Do you see a checkbox added, right? Now it's time for us to create a flow and then uh, you know get this uh, logic implemented. Yeah. So this is the triggering point, right? When this is checked, then we can copy the values uh, of billing address and then we can just, just you know save it in the shipping address yeah so this is a classic use case for a record trigger flow because I want this to happen behind the scenes you know in the background when the record is right uh, saved correct so I'm gonna create a record trigger flow now so let's click on new flow of course I do see all the flow times I'm gonna choose record trigger flow I click create yeah so I want to select the object that will trigger this flow in our case it is going to be the account yeah and uh, I want this this uh, address copy should happen right I want this to happen for any new customers being created or any existing customer address information right being modified so I'll just go with this the record is created or updated yeah and I'm going to choose this fast field updates the reason again here is you know one is the, the, the very reason is I'm, I'm not going to deal with any other object other than the account isn't it so I'm going to read the billing address from the account uh, from the same you know account object and then copy that content to the same fields that reside on the account object you know copy this building address to shipping address fields right that reside on the same object so this is the reason why I'm going to choose fast field updates here yeah? from the performance and from performance perspective this is uh, you know this is much faster than uh, you know than this other option right let's go with this and then see how it works yeah <coughs> good so now uh, let's let's start let's start with a decision element yeah because the trigger point is the checkbox isn't it I'm gonna check check for um, building address copy yeah so I'll just give a label I'll just say check because there are two ways you know two uh, two uh, possibilities right one is either checked or not checked so checked 
and uh, resource how do i know whether it is checked or not so when we work with uh, record triggered flow yeah salesforce gives you uh, a global api variable a global variable it's called record isn't it so this will carry all the information about the record about the account that has triggered this flow so using which i can access any field values right so i'll just choose record and i'm going to do go look for the same as billing address custom field if this is equal to true yeah then i would like to continue yeah if this condition is met right so if this is not checked yeah the other outcome would be not checked that's it so now when i click on done i get two different paths right so check for billing address copy if it is checked then copy the address to uh, you know shipping copy billing address to the shipping address otherwise don't do anything just you know close it so now let's try to uh, let's try to copy the shipping address right so let's do let's see how we can do it when you click on plus again since we have chosen fast field updates uh, you don't get much options right here yeah so you will get options to update records get record and this one update triggering record this is you know an appropriate option for us to go with because i'm going to update the same record that has triggered you know this flow isn't it so i'll just click on update triggering record yeah i'll just say copy i'll give a gate copy billing uh, address to shipping address perfect yeah so i do uh, have you know different options to choose from <clears throat> so the first one is again appropriate one to go with use the account record that triggered the flow you know straightforward isn't it so i'm gonna use this one yeah and then uh, i want to you know i want to uh, copy billing address to the shipping address right so the in this in this one i'll just say look for shipping streak first yeah and i want value of shipping street should be from you know the billing one billing street right or the billing address from the billing address i want to get the street and then assign that value to the shipping street right so if you could recollect we can access the account record yeah that has triggered the flow all the field values using dollar record global variable use this one and then look for uh, billing street yeah so this way the value of the billing street yeah value of the billing street gets copied to shipping street i'm going to continue this i'll just uh, do the same for uh, shipping city i'll look for record and uh, billing city i'll do it for uh, shipping country and i'll read the value from billing country and we'll just copy the zip code as well shipping uh, postal code so again it should come from the billing postal code so we got the state city uh, okay state is missing so let's try this state as well shipping state the value should come from got to billing state perfect so now you know this is a very simple uh, simple you know task right so reading billing address and then copying the value to the shipping that's all it is so just done that's it your your flow is almost done almost done I, i'll just click on save and then uh, let's give a name i'm gonna give a name record triggered flow and uh, this is for account object this is the naming convention that we follow yeah the type of the flow and then on account record copy address that's the action right so i click on show advanced let's cross check the syntax level perfect let's click on save good so now i can activate and then test it but there is one more thing that i would like to you know i would like to add as a condition yeah so right now the condition says that uh, if this checkbox is selected yeah then let's copy the address you know directly right so what if you know what if the checkbox is selected yeah 
and there was no change right in the in the in the shipping address yeah let's say the user has made same some changes in other fields right again what happens is right in this current logic uh, still the address gets copied unnecessary data you know unnecessary hit to the database so what i would like to do is to avoid that i'm going to add some additional conditions okay so this is where the is changed function come into the play what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for any change in the billing address let's say billing city if billing city is changed if this is true okay and i'll do the same for billing country if this is true yeah i'll do the same for um, record uh, billing um, let's say zip code yeah, if this is changed true so the idea is if and only if the value of the address is changed along with this checkbox is selected then go with copying the address otherwise don't do it so that's what i'm trying to you know set it up so first let's bring all the fields for which we want to check this uh, check whether the value is changed or not so it's true so city countries zip code and uh, street let's add the last one which is the state from the record uh, let's choose state building state if this is true all right now we do have all and conditions right but we have to you know customize this so i'll just write my custom logic yeah and uh, i'll just say if the checkbox is selected yeah we wanted to copy the billing address to shipping address and if any one of the values either billing street billing city billing state or postal code if any one of the values right uh, has been changed then go ahead and then copy the address otherwise don't do it yeah so that's the criteria right i have just uh, written now yeah so cool i think um, this should be good let's say done all right let's save and i think it's time for us to test it let's activate this again uh, there are a few best practices that i did not do what you should do is right now this is going to you know uh, this is going to uh, change a uh, value right uh, before it is saved in the database if something goes wrong we should have a fault path right to ensure that um, you know uh, just for the error and link thing right so anyways first let's first test this and then we'll come back to, come back to that so i'll go back to the record yeah um first let's try with an existing one All right, so let's use this Burlington Textiles. Let's go to details. And uh, right now the shipping address is you know empty, isn't it? So I'll just select this checkbox, yeah? And uh, let me just uh, um, change this to, change the zip code yeah, from 14, from 7, 14 to 14. And let's click on save and see what happens. Perfect. Now the exact address, right? The billing address has been copied onto the shipping address, isn't it? So now <coughs> the the conditions that we added, right? So I may choose to change, you know, other uh, other data points as well on the account record. Yeah. So now I just changed the number of employees, right? But now when I just save this, right, my flow will hit, but it will check the conditions. Remember the conditions that we added? yeah even though it is uh, the checkbox is selected yeah none of the address field the billing address fields right have been modified yeah so this will not right to go ahead and then unnecessarily copy the data and then do a database hit yeah so see yeah, it just you know saves the data okay so this is this is how you can able to use a simple checkbox and then copy billing address to the shipping address the same works for you know new customers as well when you add a new customer 
we can just you know we can just uh, uh, we can just test that as well so if I just uncheck this and uh, let's say I change the billing address instead of um, William Street and um, I'll just say try um, I'll just have state as Michigan and city as Troy yeah and now let's save this now I don't want to copy the copy the billing address right uh, just say save so we need to ensure that uh, the shipping address is not changed right so as you can just see shipping address you know still remains intact right when the billing address has got changed because this is unchecked yeah so so all the you know different uh, scenarios it will just work fine yeah so now let's go back to this um, requirement this is precisely what uh, you know the sales team is looking for right so given this checkbox if it is selected you will ensure that this or the system will ensure that the billing address is copied onto this shipping address so while we implement this flow we did learn quite a few things right one is the way how to read uh, the data especially the record that triggered the flow right using this dollar record number one number two this is also quite helpful is changed so this function or this operator will help you to to check whether a particular field value has changed or not if it is changed then perform actions otherwise don't do anything so this comes really handy when you build complex flows all right so with that i think uh, we can close thank you